Okay, so let's uh, jump into the first question, which says, and I'm going to read here, I am currently a senior in high school. Uh, I have messed around with Python, Kelly, Termux. Termux is, uh, is actually a mobile application. I don't think they do have, do they have a, like a laptop based thing or is, is it just mobile? Do you know, uh, Alexa? I, th I think it's just, it's, it's just Android, so primarily mobile. Okay, so Termux and CompTIA Network Plus just trying to get into pen testing. My plan is to self-study some networking and Python a bit, and I'm planning on going to a community college for cyber uh, defense, get an internship for experience, then self-study more, and go for e-learn security network pen tester path. So this is like a description of what uh, this fellow is into. Then learn Python with networking because I don't wanna be a skid, which is actually a script kitty. Okay, is my plan good enough, he asks. How do I self-study better and more effectively? What do you say, Alexis? Um, yeah, so I, I have uh, quite a bit of experience with this as I'm a network penetration tester myself. Um, so I think for, for the most part, you, you've got it right in regards to, to what you're focusing on, that being uh, Network Plus and then also taking a look at Python as well. So. I think uh, focus first uh, primarily on Network Plus. Uh, if you can also take a look at Security Plus because uh, there's a lot of valuable information there, uh, you know, to do with networking as well to, to a certain extent. But uh, if you're self-studying, I would recommend starting off with networking. So Network Plus, as you just mentioned, um, the, 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 the most important part here is to learn about uh, the TCP IP stack and of course uh, the entire OSI mode, uh, the, the OSI model, uh, on its on its own because there's a lot of information stuff that uh, a lot of uh, important stuff that you'll require there um, secondly I would say um, start working with uh, various operating systems and when I say this I mean with Windows and uh, Linux so that you understand how networking uh, essentially behaves and interacts with those two operating systems and so sort of get an understanding of how they they work and their inherent uh, network weaknesses or vulnerabilities that they suffer from, so that that's a very interesting uh, a very interesting caveat there. Uh, I would then say um, start focusing on um, writing your own scripts. Uh, these are network scripts, of course, using either Python or you know Bash scripting. So you can start off with simple scripts like the ping sweep uh, scripts, and then start focusing on vulnerability scanners, uh, port scanners, and you can once once you essentially learn that. It, it, It'll just start opening up your creative side so you can start working on other network uh, scripts that you can use uh, when performing pen tests. So focus on scripting as well. It's going to be really useful in automating a lot of scans, a lot of custom scans, uh, whether they be focused on particular vulnerabilities on a larger network. So very important. And uh, finally, uh, as you said, uh, the, you wanted to get into, you wanted to use eLearn security as um, a sort of your, 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 your launching pad for getting into net, uh, network penetration testing through the network pen tester path. So I would say that's a great starting point. And then uh, on top of that, you can, you can start play, uh, playing around with, uh, with vulnerable boxes and sort of work on creating your own network environment. Uh, this is something that's, uh, that, that's quite interesting, especially when creating you know, your own uh, network and subnet and also working on a DMZ. So, that that that'll become very interesting, and then you can also go for um, you can go for the offensive security certification. So OSCP that that also is very very useful and will come in handy uh, when working with networks. So th that that's basically what I think. Fellas, check out my Python Basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, you've actually kind of nailed it. Um, what I would simply, I would actually want to re-emphasize something that you've said um, is that of actually doing or building or writing their own scripts or writing his own script. Uh, I don't know, is uh, this uh, um, he or she? Anyways, um, either way, um, writing your own scripts is really important because uh, this is how you 
I feel, so from a personal perspective, I feel that one of the best ways to learn something is to actually try to do it yourself. And of course, try to teach someone else like we are doing uh, on YouTube. Uh, I've learned, I've actually learned a lot by trying to uh, like put myself in front of the camera or in front of the screen and record the screen and trying to show uh, what I'm learning to other people because it kind of puts you in sort of a different like mentality, mindset, uh, so to speak. To re-emphasize, it is really important uh, when you learn something to actually try to do it, your, do it yourself. So in this case, if you write your own scripts and we're talking about network penetration testing, oh my God, there's, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, things that you can do i mean try to build an ip scanner or try to uh, in bash and python try to see which one works better um, try to kind of automate steps of your penetration test uh, using bash or python both of them are really really good and uh, bash can be really fast and you can also make python faster by actually threading by using uh, threading it's of course it's not going to be as fast as c plus plus but i mean uh, you're going to write a python script much faster and it's going to be much easier to actually uh, be, it's, it's going to be much easier to do it because you have a lot of modules i mean there are tons of libraries for networking including scape um, and you can also actually use uh, those uh, simple uh, the simple library the socket library which would be i would start with the socket library for network programming because that's like it it comes in the standard python library and that's like uh base camp it's ground zero uh, i would say for for networking so getting back to the main thing here um self-studying better self-studying better is um, you would achieve this by everything that Alexis said here and my re-emphasis on uh, actually doing things yourself. It's not like passively learning from a book or from a course, but actually trying to get your hands uh, dirty and uh, try to do stuff yourself.